गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट एस कॉन्टिन्यू विद द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑफ लेसन नंबर एट दैट इज मोशन नाउ लेट एस सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्रपोर्शनल टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ टाइम देन द ऑब्जेक्ट मूव विथ सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द ऑब्जेक्ट मूव विथ यूनिफॉर्म एक्सलेशन सो why this is the correct answer this is from the second equation of motion we know that s is equal to ut plus half at square so if we consider that the object starts from rest so the initial velocity becomes zero that is u becomes zero so s will be equal to half at square and s will be directly proportional to t square only if the acceleration is constant so the correct answer is b part uniform acceleration now the next question is from the given vt graph velocity time graph it can be inferred that the object is so from this graph it is inferred that the object is moving in uniform motion b part is the correct answer because its velocity is not changing with respect to time third question is suppose a boy is enjoying a ride on a merry go round which is moving with a constant speed of 10 meter per second it implies that the boy is so it implies that the boy is in accelerated motion so we have studied the topic uniform circular motion uniform accelerated motion where the uniform accelerated motion is the motion in which the speed is constant and velocity changes and whenever there is change in velocity that motion is called accelerated motion so c part now question number 4 a particle is moving in a circular path of radius r the displacement after half a circle would be so displacement as we all know is the shortest path yet or distance traveled by an object so after half a circle this is the short this is the shortest path so it is equal to it would be equal to 2r so the answer is correct answer is 2r next question is which of the following can sometimes be zero for a moving body so for a moving body average velocity can be zero distance can never be zero average speed also can never be zero and displacement can be zero if the initial and the final position is the same so the correct answer is c part first and fourth next question which of the following statement is correct regarding velocity and speed of a moving body so the correct statement regarding velocity and speed of a moving body is velocity of a moving body is its speed in a given direction so we know that velocity is speed with direction so d is the correct answer seventh question when a car driver travels at a speed of 10 meter per second so here u is given to u as 10 meter per second and applies brake so final velocity comes out to be 0 meter per second and brings the car to rest in 20 seconds so the retardation is retardation means the negative acceleration so apply this formula v is equal to u plus 80 so when you put this well these values in this equation you will get the answer as minus 0.5 meter per second square so this is the correct answer now question number 8 the speed time graph of a car is given here using the data in the graph calculate the total distance covered by the car so here you have to use the data in the graph to calculate the total distance so we all know that distance is equal to speed into time and here 
two quantity both these quantity speed and time is given then we have to calculate the distance so distance can be calculated by the area under this graph which is area of triangle afg afg plus area of rectangle area of rectangle agoh agoh so this area this triangle and this rectangle is the total distance covered by a car we know the formula for area of triangle which is half into base into height so apply that formula half into base is 50 and height is 25 you can count 5 10 15 20 25 and this is 50 plus area of rectangle is length into breadth so length is 50 and breadth is 5 so this comes out to be 625 and this comes out to be 250 and when we add this we get 875 meter as the total distance so the correct answer is b part that is 875 meter next question is a car of mass 1000 kg is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second if the velocity time graph for this car is horizontal line parallel to time axis so it means this is the velocity time graph this basically means that velocity is constant the object is moving in uniform motion velocity is constant then the velocity of the car at the end of 25 seconds will be so initially the speed was 10 meter per second and the car at the end of the velocity of car at the end of 25 seconds we have to count so we have to calculate v so as velocity time graph for this car is a horizontal line parallel to time axis this means that velocity is constant therefore there is no change in acceleration so whenever there is no change in acceleration it means acceleration so sorry whenever there is no change in velocity it means acceleration is zero because acceleration is rate of change of velocity so because here the velocity is constant it is clear from the graph therefore acceleration is constant then apply this formula v is equal to u plus at so this terms becomes zero and initial velocity and the final velocity becomes the same so here the correct answer is 10 meter per second last question is which of the following is most likely not a case of uniform circular motion so let us see motion of the earth around the sun this is uniform circular motion motion of a toy train on a circular track this is also a case of uniform circular motion next is motion of a racing car on a circular track so this is not the case of uniform circular motion because the speed of the racing car can increase or decrease on a circular track so this is the correct option c part this is not the case of uniform circular motion so i hope all the mcqs are clear to you all so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to discuss 
एम सी क्यूज ऑफ अदर चैप्टर इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑफ अदर चैप्टर